In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the multi cursor feature in VS Code to edit multiple lines at the same time when using Mac OS. This is Coding with Adam, and let's get to the code. In this example over here, I have a list of books, and each book has a name and a title. Let's say that I want to change the name to author. Well, I can highlight the name and then hit Command D on the keyboard, and you'll see that it finds the next match and adds a cursor. I continue hitting Command D over and over. It's going to add more and more cursors, and then use the arrows on my keyboard to move all the cursors together. I can highlight the name and then type author, and then by hitting Escape on the keyboard, I can remove all the cursors, and now we have a single cursor. A faster way we can add a cursor for each match is by highlighting author and then hitting command shift L and as you can see we have a cursor for each match of author and then we can go ahead and change that back to a name if we like. Another fun way that we can add multiple cursors is if we put our cursor in the middle over here and I hold command option and I hit down on the keyboard, you're going to see it's adding a cursor below and then I continue hitting down. Now if I hit up, it's going to put a cursor over here and we can continue hitting up until we get to the top of the list. And then once again, we can go ahead and just change that value, hit escape and we're back to one cursor. Another way that we can add cursors is by using our mouse. We can hold the option key on the keyboard and then everywhere we click, we'll be adding a cursor. We can add them anywhere that we like, which can cause a little bit of chaos if you start to type as you'll just get letters everywhere. We can hit escape to remove those. With our mouse, we can also select multiple lines. So when we're holding option over here, we can hold shift and then click at the very bottom over here and it's going to add a column of cursors. And then once again, we can move those cursors around and change our value of author to name. And of course, you can go ahead and do that in the opposite direction. So hold option and shift and then click at the top over here and you get the same set of cursors you had before and we'll change that back to author. A fantastic real world example over here is in HTML when we want to quickly change some class names. So let's say that over here we have this box over here and we want to change box quickly to card. Well, I can highlight it, hit command shift L to add multiple cursors then start typing card and we've updated all of our classes over here in HTML very quickly. Another great real world example is that someone sent us this list of colors and we need to put it into an array. So the first thing we're going to do is put quotes around every single color over here. So we're going to put our cursor at the top, then we're going to hold option shift, click on the last line to add multiple cursors. We're going to add our quote over here. Now we're going to hold command and write so we can jump to the end of the word. We'll put another quote. We'll put a comma at the very end over here. I'll then go ahead and hit command and left to go back to the beginning of the line. We'll hit delete to put everything on one line. Escape to go back to one cursor. We'll type const colors over here and then make it equal to the opening bracket for an array and then close the bracket over here put a semicolon, and we have created an array using the multi-cursor feature. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.